Come over here and sit and one more time for me. see like who's can see screen you care. Hey Missy. Sorry. And Danielle. Oh, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Because you can fill them up like these are fully uh, fully filled or if you need a little bit less weight you can lower them down just pour some of it out but um, we're gonna be using these toward this uh, the last part of this workout and uh, I don't know if you guys saw the post yesterday but what we're gonna do different today is we're gonna make this workout shorter for people so if you um, have a limited time for the workout then you can kind of pick or choose workouts that are a little bit shorter because uh, you're on a time constraint. Um, so that's what we're going to try to do today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to have Jess demonstrate this warm up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to run in place. So she's going to just sort of run, run in place. You're not trying to get your height and your knees up. You're just sort of running. Notice how like she's just her feet are going right underneath her body. Okay. So we're just running in place. Okay. We're going to go right into a, a scissors with our arms. And then we're gonna go right back to, uh, excuse me, a toe touch. So this one, you're not trying to do anything. You're just actually trying to touch your toes and back up. And the last thing, we've got an arm throw down. So big arm throw down, really throw those arms through. And so we're gonna be here for a time on everything. And so uh, don't worry about your jugs just yet. Um, I'll give you guys some time to go get those if you don't have them yet. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and start with this warm up. Okay, get ready, get ready to run in place. Three, two, one, begin. I want you to really just try to get those legs moving. We're trying to get our heart rate up. We're trying to get a little bit of uh, body core temperature elevated. We're gonna go through this warm up a few times. Okay, then we're gonna just jump right into some of this stuff. Like I said, this workout's gonna be shorter than the ones that we've done thus far, okay? Okay, get ready. You're going to go to scissors in three, two, scissors. Right here for 15 seconds. Really feel those arms. I want to see a lot of speed. You guys should be really opening that chest up really aggressively. You should feel a good stretch in your chest. If you did the workout yesterday, you might feel this from the push-up holds we did. Okay, back to toe touches. Boom. Just sort of touch, if you can't touch your toes, that's okay. Just touch towards your toes as far as you can. Really drive those hips back. I'm having Jess do this workout today, and I'm going to come back and do it later on my own. Almost there, almost there. And arm throw down, arm throw down. Same idea, throw those arms through. You guys should feel the stretch in your front of your shoulders, right near your chest area. Fill those arms up. Get ready. We're about to go back to running in place in two, one, ready. This time I want you to pick it up. I want you to see if you can speed up your feet a little bit, okay? You're not trying to get your knees high. You're literally just trying to like, just like if you're running in place. 
Get those arms moving with your body, okay? And arm scissors, ready. This one's gonna be good, guys. They're all good. I don't completely know what it is either, so we'll be surprised together. <laughs> and toe touches, 30 seconds. You notice, guys, we do a lot of these warm ups, we do a lot of movement warm ups, and the reason is, is we're trying to uh, have our body go through a range of motion. It's designed to be able to bend over. Your hamstrings got to go through a range of motion. Your hips got to go through a range of motion. Your shoulders have to go through a range of motion. You don't use that range of motion, you get tight. Stuff can hurt. And so rather than just passively stretching, we're actually utilizing a movement in motion. And so that's going to give you the most benefit of that exercise in general. But two, you just going to, you'll feel good without having to stretch. Okay, almost there, ready. Throw downs. All right, now run in place. Ready. This one, I want this to be the, the most aggressive one that you've done thus far, okay? I want you to really pump those legs. The floor is lava. The floor is lava, yes. <laughs> Keep going. And scissors. Last set of scissors. Last set. Hopefully you're getting your heart rate up. You're feeling a little bit of like your heart rate. I you know, sure like, am. Last set of arm throwdowns, ready. Touch it. Oh, sorry, toe touches, my bad. <laughs> Got ahead of This is the last set of everything. I'm just doing three sets. Throw down, last set, last set. Looking good, looking good. Rest. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate this next thing. This one, we're going to slow everything down. We're going to focus on strength, we're going to focus on lower body strength. So the two options are going to be this. If it is a challenge to do a lunge, I want you guys to step back, drop all the way down, fully relax, and then step up, okay? If that's challenging for you, that's the exercise I want you to use, okay? If that's not challenging, you're coming down here, and you're good, and you're right back up, you're going to go to this other version, which is a single leg. It's called a skater squat, okay? So I'm going to just demonstrate this. You're going to lower the back knee to the floor, touch, come right back up, okay? It's important that you be able to go all the way to the ground. Now, here's the variation that you can do. If you cannot go to the ground and touch, and keep your back foot up. So I'll have her do this again, okay? She's here, back foot's up, and then she's gonna stand up, okay? If you cannot do that, but you can lower, I want you to do this. I want you to lower so your knee touches, okay? Put your back foot on the ground, step up, okay? I want you to really emphasize lowering, 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 boom, okay? That's gonna be the next option. Now. The second one would be, maybe you can lower as far as you can, and then that leg, then you touch the back foot down and you're here and you're back up, okay? So we're gonna take the next 30 seconds or so. I want you guys to try a couple things, okay? 
The most scaled version is going to be just step back to a lunge, relax, step up. Okay, that's the first skill. The other one's going to be you're going to lower as low as you can before the back leg touches and then your knees down and then you back up. That's the second. The third is you're going to lower all the way down, knee touches, and then you get your foot down and you're back up. That's the third. The fourth one is you lower, foot stays up, you stand up, okay? Those are the four options. Now here's what we're doing. We're gonna set a timer. I'm gonna base this on what Jess is doing. We're literally going to do five reps per leg with a rest between, okay? So we're gonna keep the rest long, we're gonna work on low reps, we're gonna build this up, okay? So I'm gonna have Jess do five reps on her right, five reps on her left, left, uh, left side. Yep, ready. So, guys, go ahead and start. Okay. This should be hard. We're keeping the reps low. It should be challenging. This is not an easy exercise. Once you do five reps on one side, immediately go into the other side. As she did that, she's going to the other side. One side might feel easier than the other side. One side will definitely feel easier. <laughs> wow. Okay. Nice. So, we're going to rest one minute. I'm going to base the rest off Jess finishing your work, and she's working you know, comfortably, but she's not going super fast. So, I definitely feel a difference on both different sides of my leg. So it's completely normal if one leg is easier for you than the other. Again, during this time, we'll revisit. First one is a normal reverse lunge. Knee down, foot down, relax, step up. Don't use your hands to push yourself up. If that's challenging, stay with that sequence. If you can lower as far as you can, but you can't go all the way down, but you can get pretty far, and then you touch your knee down, you can come and do that. Third one is lower all the way down to where the knee touches, then let the toe touch, and then you come back up, okay? Okay, she's getting ready to go for her second set. Ready. This is the hardest version. She's not letting her back foot touch the ground. If you can do this, I want you guys to do this. We're staying at five reps only. If it is exceedingly easy for the variation that you're doing for five reps, go to the next version, go to the more advanced version. The reps are low in this case because we're trying to focus on building strength, okay? Nice. We're literally doing just Four to five sets. We'll see where we're at. Probably gonna have to, depends on how she looks on her fourth and fifth set. That's a lot of good reps. <laughs> Maybe just four sets. Because after this, we're gonna go into a whole circuit. It's gonna be our last thing. We're gonna do a really hard circuit right after we finish two more sets of this. And that's gonna be it for this workout today. We'll make it tough though. Okay, go ahead and do your start your third set. You have them already. Third set. Like I said, guys, if you're having problems, if you start out at one variation, it's really hard, you gotta scale it back, that's okay. Remember, first one is lower, like a lunge, relax, step up, okay? 
if you if that's challenging, use your hands to help you. I'm down here. Put your hand on your legs. Give yourself a little push to help yourself up if you need it. Okay. Rest, rest. If you haven't already gotten there yet, we're gonna do one more set, guys. One more set. How's it feel? It's good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing this one later. Yeah, it's good. So during this rest, if you haven't, and you've got a couple of dumbbells, you don't, you got your jugs, you guys are gonna need those for the next sequence that we do. So if you, during this rest period here, uh, go ahead and grab those and have them ready if you, if you want. This one's gonna make you sore. <laughs> For sure. Okay, go ahead and start your last set, guys. Last set. Looking for five reps. If you need to help yourself with your hand, you can. If it's that challenging, I want you guys to do that. This is a very hard exercise. So we're gonna, I'm gonna let you guys rest here just so everybody is still finishing up, see where everybody's at. Well, we're gonna demo this next one while you guys are finishing up here. Give yourself just another, another 30 seconds or so here. This is gonna be the last thing that we do. This, this, this sequence was gonna go for a little bit, but we're gonna be done sooner than we have been on these previous workouts just to give you guys some workouts that are a little shorter if you're, if you're um, you know, you're struck on time or you got somewhere to be, you know, you've got a short window of time to work out. Uh, maybe not, you know, 45 minutes like they have been. If you got a shorter time, this is gonna work in that window for you. Okay, here's what we got. So, the first sequence is a jug. It's called a jug suitcase swing. So you're gonna be swinging these things to the side, just like if you had some dumbbells or if you had some kettlebells, okay? Hips are going to be sitting back. Your knees are going to stay back on this, okay? So I should not see your knees shove forward on these swings, okay? Sitting back, just like your, your, your skin, okay? That's the first sequence that we're using with the jugs. Second one is you're doing a split squat. So you're down and up with the jugs to your side. We're going to do alternate legs. So I'll have just demo that. Nice. Now, if you can, touch your knee to the ground. If you can't, just keep it real shallow, okay? So like, hold the judge, drop, right there, okay? The third exercise is we're doing a jug bicep curl, okay? So you're gonna be curling it for 20 seconds, okay? If you're using these, I was curious, they weigh about eight and a half pounds. So they're plenty for what we're trying to accomplish because your arms should be fatigued just from holding these things from the swings and the split squats. So when you get to the curls, they're gonna be nice and fatigued. So what we're doing is we're gonna go from jug swings, split squats, each leg, curls, and then we're gonna have an active rest exercise between each round of this. So there's no rest. We're doing an exercise as an active rest in place of the rounds of this stuff right here, okay? so. Here's what we got. Active rest is pretty simple. The first one's gonna be a plank, front plank. Second one's gonna be a side plank on each side. Yep, right there. And then we'll be doing a side plank. And then the, the fourth active rest is a wide stance inchworm. So your feet will be wide, walk yourself back, and you'll stay down when you come back. We're just sort of getting like an active stretch from the back and stuff. But we're going to alternate these active rest periods, okay? Okay. Get ready. Here's what we got. 
We're going to start in 10 seconds. We got jug swings first. We're going to go for 20 seconds. Hips back. All you got to do is swing these jugs to, to your shoulder height, okay? In three, two, one, ready. This is going to get saucy. If you got dumbbells, use dumbbells. If you got kettlebells, use kettlebells. Hips back, use your glutes. Use your glutes. All right, get ready. Split squats. She gets set. We're starting the timer. Ready for 20 seconds. Take your time. You don't have to worry about doing a bunch of reps. We're going to get plenty of sets. Switch legs. Get set. Begin. Yep. Like I said, if you guys, if it's too challenging to touch your knee to the ground, just do a shallower lunge, okay? You don't have to drop all the way down. Don't stop. I want you guys to keep moving. Okay, jug curls. Ready, begin. We're right here for 30 seconds. In three, two, one. Now we're going to a plank hold. Plank hold here, guys. 45 seconds. Ready. If you need to scale this plank hold, you can do it from your knees, okay? If you need to scale it, do it from your knees. We're here for 45 seconds. If you want to start on your toes, you go as long as you can. Drop to your knees, you can do that too. Once we complete this, we're immediately getting right back into these jug swings. We're starting right into another round, okay? This is our active rest. Basically no rest. <laughs> Try to tax your breathing from what you just did. Almost there. Three, two, one, good. As soon as Jess gets these jugs, we're going to start in the round. So get ready. Okay, three, two, begin. Nice, nice. Split squats, ready. Begin. Nice, nice. Switch legs. Try not to swing them too much. So let your arms straighten. Don't let your those jugs or dumbbells or whatever way you're using. Don't let it. Don't swing a lot. Just be real strict with your curl. <clears throat> you got ten seconds. Ten seconds. Nice job, guys. Come on, keep it up. Okay, side plank. I'm going to a side plank here. 45 seconds. Ready. Same idea here, guys. If you need to scale it, we're going to drop to our knees to scale it. Okay? Drop to your knees. This is our active rest. This is good stuff. Hang in there, guys. This is tough. This is a tough one, but it's good. Nice, steady, consistent work. 
I said, guys, once we finish, once we finish these movements, I said, this is the last thing we're doing, so keep working. We got 10 more seconds. Stay in there. As soon as we come from here, we're right back into these jug swings, okay? Two, one, switch. Just enough time to grab those jugs. Get ready. Begin. Switch. Ready. Come on. This is steady work. You should be feeling this. Curls. Ready. 30 seconds. minutes here, so we still got some more rounds we're doing here. We've got two more rounds of the jug swings, and we got one more active recovery round. Just because you can't be in gym does not mean you can't work. I've been sore from all these workouts, so hopefully you have been too. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. I can't wait to do this one later. I'm excited about it. <laughs> Five seconds. And switch. Back to the jug swings. Get ready. Grab them. Oh, <sighs> and ready. Should be feeling this Ooh, in your glutes. Nice flat back. Hips go back. Knees stay stacked over your ankles. If your knees are going forward, you're doing too much of a squat. You need your hips to go back. Split squats, ready. Good, good. Looking good. Switch. Again, 20 seconds. You should be breathing hard. Come on, almost there. Woo. Switch, curl, ready. Your arm should be feeling it. Good job, good job. Whew. Eight pounds never felt so heavy. Good, swift. Now a wide stance, inchworm, wide stance. Feet wide, knees relatively straight. Walk out, no push up. Walk your feet back, keep your hands down, and drive your hips back, get you a good little stretch here, good.
wherever you can keep your legs straight, that's as far as you walk your feet back. All the way out to a plank, off the back. Jug swings, ready. Get right to them, pick them right up. Yep, 20 seconds. We're gonna find a limit here. We're almost done, but we ain't done. We're gonna hit those arms. Switch, split squats. into jug swings. Immediately back into another round. No active rest this time. Ready, get ready, jug swings. Go, 20 seconds. Keep going, switch legs. Just didn't know what we're doing on this. <laughs> She's completely surprised like everybody else is. <laughs> That's why she's looking at me like, this is pretty tough. <laughs> Curls. 
Good. Curls, curls, curls. Last set. 30 seconds. We're done. Yeah. Good job. Almost there. Come on. <sighs> Keep moving. Try not to swing your arms. Try to be real strict still with your movements. We got 10 seconds. Megan, I hope you use those 10 pounds, not the 25s. <laughs> Good rest. Sit those jugs down. We're going to go on our back to a figure four stretch. And crush those glutes and legs. Oh. All right. Cross your leg over, or if you need to, just kind of grab the outside of your leg, pull it towards you. We're just trying to stretch out this, this, uh, this hip a little bit. <sighs> good job, good job, good job. Good job. Stay right there for a second. Switch legs. Switch legs. There we go. Almost done, guys. Trying to keep this workout right at about 30 minutes for actual work time, so we did a good job of that. Ah, okay, good, you're done. Well done. Finished. All right, guys, good job. Keep coming back every day and working hard. Thumbs up.